students myself shefa shah and today in this lecture we will going to discuss on the topic that is collision free protocols now there are so many protocols related to this uh, particular uh, data to be sent and to be received right some of them are uh, csms cd csms ca but in all these protocols there are some or the other type of collisions in the signals in between right so let's see what are the different collision free protocols we need to study over here in today's lecture right now collision free protocols means what the protocols in which there is no collision that is called as collision free protocols now basically here we are going to study two uh, collision free protocols first that is bitmap protocol and second that is binary countdown protocol right now what is basically in collision free protocol is so collision as we have discussed it is still is occur in csmscd csmscd stands for collision uh, collision detection but collision is detected still there is a collision in the signals in between when there is a transmission of data right so to avoid collisions here we are going to discuss two collision free protocols so some of the requirements in collision free protocols that there are it is more efficient as the wire or you can see the bit is long then that uh, the contention period is small right as the frames are small and for collision free protocols there are bits as we if we are assume that there are total n stations and the contention slots they are n slots right so the bits will be from the 0 to n minus 1 now let's discuss one by one collision free protocols so first here we will going to discuss that is bitmap protocol now what is bitmap protocol so in bitmap protocol let's say that we have total 0 to n minus 1 bits right if we have 8 bits then it is represented from 0 to 7 right and the contention slots that means the slots in which we the bits is located that we have the contention slots they are they are de denoted by the n contention slots so the contention slots will be from 1 to n minus 1 right so there are hence there are n contention slots and second the station puts n in slot n minus 1 else zero so if there is transmission of data that particular data that particular bit is denoted by 1 and whereas where the transmission is not uh, possible or data is not there there it will be represented by represented by the zero now as you can see in this below figure here there are total eight contention slots starting from 0 to 7 in which as you can see there in a bit kind of in the slot 1 3 and 7 there it is represented by 1 1 and 1 so one is represented that it is ready for the transmission right after contention slot there are frames so frames there is in these frames there are frame number uh, in which contention slot it we need to transmit that is 1 3 and 7 that from the that frames we can identify that the uh, uh, transmission is either from the slot 1 3 or 7 right so the transmission as you can see with the downward arrow one shows the front one again shows the position 3 and last one it shows the position 7 now when it is received it is having a again eight contention slot when it uh, received that is in 1 and 5 so this uh, data has been sent that is 1 and last as you can see the uh, data that is in the contention slot 2 so in the last it is represented at, at, as a 2 so here the d is represented as a frame number from which the transmission has come and the transmission slide has done now how did the bit pro, uh, bitmap protocol perform so there are n contention slots as we have discussed in the previous figure so there will be a n bit frame right now d will be the data bits that means how many data can be transmitted now station wants to transmit so it will wait for some times now how it will wait so lower number higher number and combined average now lower number will have the formula average n by 2 slots that is current slot which we need to transmit plus n for the next higher number that is n by 2 and combined average when we average for both this two we will have a delay that is n right now 
what is the efficiency for so efficiency when one is sending of transmitting so it will have the formula d divided by n plus t where n is the number of bits right and contains on slots and d that is the data bits so the average delay will be having the n by d when is a low load when it is a high load right so the, the data efficiency will be d divided by d plus 1 and the average will be average delay will be n into bracket d plus 1 divided by 2 right so this is how the bit map bit map protocol can be performed now second protocol collision free protocol that is binary countdown now what does this binary countdown means so as you can see on the right hand side of the figure here there are four data to be transmitted first data that is 0010 second that is 0100 third that is 1001 and fourth that is 1010 so what it will be do is we will compare first bit by bit and if the data which is higher that will be sent first right so as you can see this four data in this when you compare the first bit so first bit in the first data that is zero in second that is zero third that is one and fourth that is one so the priority will be the last two third and fourth data will be given for sending the data now for third and fourth again the second bit will be checked the second bit will be in both that will be 0 0 so it will next jump to the third bit in the third bit as you can see in the third data that is 0 and fourth data third bit is 1 so the fourth bit fourth data is the winner so the fourth data will be sent first after that it will be sent by the uh, uh, it will be sent by the third data the second data and the first data. so this is how the data will be sent bit by bit and the higher the data the data will be sent first so let's discuss in the terms of theory so instead of one bit per station encode the binary so we are encoding the binary transmit address is in binary as you can see in the square box that is the transmit address assume all stations see inserted bit instantaneously when multiple transmit or together then there will be a pouring of that two particular data when the station sees higher order that is one bit where it has zero it gives up right so both data will be compared and if the data in uh, data in the bit is one that is higher that particular data sees and it will transmit it first and it will give up so in the figure you can see the both arrows in the last result that is 1010 that is the winner as we have discussed the address so the stations 0010 and station 0100 see this one given so first first and second data will also give up now when we compare third and fourth bit so as uh, we uh, say the third and fourth data in the third bit third bit is zero in the third data and fourth data is having one so again 1001 will the station will also give so the station 1010 will have the highest priority so the data will be sent first now let's see the performance of binary countdown so the efficiency of this binary countdown it is given by the formula d divided by d plus log n to the base 2 now sender address as first field and no overflow right so as you can see here there are one example of mock and word in 1970 using this virtual station numbers that is in terms of alphabets as well as numbers right so the c h d a g b e f are having the values as per this 76543210 right so the d will send the data as per the binary countdown order and those who have the highest data will Uh, send the data first so as you can see c is having a 7 in data the so 7 is decoded in the binary and c will have the uh, for date priority to send the data first then afterwards h then a then g then b e f and d right so this way the data will be sent in binary after converting into binary and the priority of the highest data will be higher and it will be sent simultaneously one by right so that's all for the lecture
here in this lecture we have discussed two collision free protocols that is bitmap protocol and binary countdown protocol thank you